Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back, Championship Leadership Podcast, and uh, excited to have Dave Daly back. We had him, uh, I don't know when it was, I think it was over a year ago, because it was definitely before I, uh, COVID hit, I believe. If Am I remembering that right? Man, I'll be honest with you, this whole COVID thing is it's, such a blur. It's a blur. I, I, I'm, I'm yeah. going to put a, a guess out there, I believe I believe so. And, yeah, I thought you know, so too. Find but, those, you blink man. your eyes, yeah. you think it's a year. And you wind up finding out it's three years. I know. Wow. Well, that's, you know, it's kind of funny because I was just writing some emails and one of them was kind of about that. It's like, man, you, sometimes you get going and uh, you you don't realize how fast life is is going by. So I don't know. Sometimes I think that's a good thing. That means that might just mean you're uh, you're really doing what you what you want to be doing and enjoying life. And that's when it seems to go by the fastest. But, uh, uh, you know, with COVID, it time couldn't go fast enough to get through that. So I'm sure we'll have a little bit of a conversation on that, but uh, I know you reached out. Well, we had an incredible episode. If you haven't listened to that, uh, I would, I would uh, recommend you go back and listen to the, our first episode, but, but uh, excited to have you come back. You said uh, you got some exciting things going on in your life. So I want to hear those and uh, excited to share them with our audience here too, as well. Uh, he's uh, Dave's out of San Diego, grew up in the Jersey Philly air, area which we do talk about on the first episode, but how you doing, man? How, how's how's doing, it going? Doing well, man. Doing well. I, I yeah, I reached out. Uh, it's been an 11 month wild journey and a big part of it's been unexpected, but let me give some context around yeah. this and get, and bring people back a little bit. So I will be 55 in this September. So two months, I will be 55 years old. And Ever since, and to take people back even further, I've been an athlete my whole life. I've been, uh, I love physical stuff. So I started wrestling in the fourth grade, loved the gym, always loved the gym, loved the weights. Um, when I had my sports nutrition store out here in San Diego, did some sparring and Muay Thai and um, dabbled in a little bit of jujitsu, but not much, right? But yep. I love the physical aspect of, of anything. I love being outside. And even when I was a little kid, you know, sports kept me out of even more trouble than I got in. Right. It's hard to believe, right? <laughs> uh, because I could release, right? Yeah. So that being said, ever since I started to approach my 40s, Nate, I have been obsessed and I geek out on turning that clock back from the inside out, yeah. right? And so I don't I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't gamble. I'm as boring as you can get, and I love it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so this time last year, literally this time last year, I said to myself, I'm getting ready to get on my treadmill, and I go, I know I can take this to another level, but I don't know how, and I don't know um, what I need to do to put all that in place, but I know the first step is just moving forward. Mm -hmm. So I started to, this time last year, uh, I think it was June, yeah, June of last year, I started to overturn stones, educate myself even more on turning that clock back internally. Yeah. Uh, and, and also part of this was let me see. Let me see how good physically I can get in as well. Let me take see if I can take this even to another level, just for myself. Yeah. So as I start to overturn stones, create resources, I started to put this plan together. Now, fast forward the clock. Uh, we're coming into the middle of August last year. So I had all my ducks in order, and so I decided to launch this. August 19th, just for myself, mm -hmm. August 19th, because uh, it's a Monday, right? We all, all start on a Monday. Yeah. So I figured, why am I yeah. going to reinvent the wheel? Let me start right. Monday. Yeah. So I started on Monday on this blueprint, if you will, this plan that I put together. Um, so I knew that I knew that there were, had I had to, in order to turn this clock back internally, let me, let me do some more searching on um, nutrition. What is it? And, and this is coming from a guy that's been doing keto for years, right? Yeah. And I, I 
also per, I certified personal trainer back in the day, but all that really means nothing at this point where we're at. Um, so I start to overturn stones and I didn't care, Nate, where it took me. I didn't care if it took me to vegan, vegetarian, yeah. back to keto. Uh, um, uh, what's the CrossFit one? The, paleo. Uh, paleo. I didn't care where it took me. Um, right. I just wanted to know, let me, let me, what makes the most sense to me? Let me try it and let me see what the results are. And then same with the workouts, right? I've always, I've done the, the traditional bodybuilding workouts, right? Certain yep. body parts, days of the week and yep. a six day a week guy has been my world. So I knew I had to, let me tweak and figure out my workouts. Let me tweak and figure out my nutrition. So going into that, I put together a, uh, Two full body workouts. Uh, A and B. A is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. B is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And they're 15 minutes. Done. Yeah. I start to educate myself on, and this is coming from somebody, Nate, that lived in the gym. Yeah, right. right, right. Meathead, as meathead as you yeah. can get. Right? Yeah. That's me. And it's been that my whole life. But once I start to educate myself on really what bands can do, okay, it took me to, I start to overturn more and more stones. And the more stones I ever turn, the more logical sense this made for me. So I put together an, an A and a B workout, a full body workouts, 15 minutes. Because of this uh, piece of equipment that I found that a guy named Dr. John Jackwish, who I'm going to connect you with because he will be an awesome guest for you. The yeah. guy is a, a, a real genius. And he, um, I believe he's got his doctorate in dissecting and breaking down real scientific studies. Right. Hey, so Dave, when he I, comes to the table. Can you hang on for one second? Yeah. So when I came into this, this I stumbled onto this uh, piece of equipment called X3, and it's uh, uh, originated by a guy named Dr. John Jackwood, who I'm going to do a, a, a DM intro with you. He'd be an awesome, awesome guest for you. Anyway, yeah. um, once I start to educate myself on the bands and really what they can do and what they do, um, I said, man, this is a no-brainer, right? So I ordered the product, and I put together these two workouts. Then... Once I start to overturn more and more stones, honestly, Nate, to me, it was a no-brainer carnivore all day long, right? Okay. Now, I'm gonna well, share this is interesting. My... I want to I want to talk more about this because it's uh, you know it's uh, carnivore. I it's popular in it, or it's becoming but, more popular, and uh, I've seen it. I haven't uh, even. But when I when I share my real yeah, world, let's, like, yeah, let's hear. In it. other words, what I'm sharing here, yeah. right, is no theory. It's right. real world experience, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. And I'm going to share everything. It's going to bring a lot of things to light with not only me. And just let me explain something to people. I started this journey this time last year only, only for myself. Right. I decided, let me put yep. together a 90-day program for myself. That was it. What happened, I wasn't even ready for. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. so it took me to carnivore. Animal protein, animal fat. Now, this is coming from a guy that has done keto for years, has trained six days a week, and is always conscious of how do I turn that clock back, right? How do, so it's not coming from a couch potato, right? It's not coming from, you know, and again, don't drink, don't smoke, don't gamble. So coming to this, how much difference could it be? Oh, Hold on to your boots, brother. <laughs> Wild. You ready? So now I got the workouts. Um, and now I um putting together the, the 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 nutrition. Okay, so now everyone starts on Monday, right? So I start on Monday, but I've always had a cheat day during my week, and it's usually a Sunday, and it would start out as a cheat meal. And then yeah. create, become a cheat day and every once in a while, a cheat weekend. Because sure. one thing with me, Nate, my whole life up to these 11, up until this 11 months, my whole life, again, pretty clean lifestyle, 
Yeah. For my whole life, I comfort food, simple sugars, and carbs have had me by the throat. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a fact. You right? and the rest my of America, whole life. Right? And I'll share with you how much. Yeah. So where I grew up, you know, um, huge Italian influence, right? Huge um, ethnic influence. So wherever you went, whatever you did, everything was around food, right? And comfort food, pasta and ever, all that, right? So, and desserts. So my whole life, and I was known where I grew up, it, running jokes is my appetite. Right. I'm known to not have a normal appetite. OK, so now you ready? Yeah. Sunday was my cheat day. One, I ate whatever I wanted throughout the day. One meal, one dessert after one meal. One sitting, a dozen raised donuts myself. Three hours later, I had another meal with another dessert. OK, yeah. now Monday, I start this program. You ready? Yep. Yep. Wednesday of that same week, three days later, I wake up. It's five o'clock in the morning. I remember this like it was yesterday. I'm in my kitchen, me and my dog, and I go, wow, I, I just, I just feel really good, really clear. Meaning it felt like the only way to describe it, Nate, would be an overall wellness, like a, a fog lifted from yeah. my brain. Now I had an, an awesome night's sleep the night before, right? But I just, it caught my attention this much. So now I'm going, wow, this is pretty interesting. Now let's fast forward the clock to Friday, two more days later. Zero, none, zero, um, or, um, uh, when you, when you want something craving, work? I just drew a blank. Zero cravings. Zero cravings on Friday. Now, now, um, this is weird. Like this is bizarre and I've never felt this in my life. I go, okay, now I got to Let, all right. Now I got to overturn stones. I need to find out why this is, but I keep doing what I'm doing, right? Yeah. No cravings. So over 120 days plus with zero cheat meal, only because I didn't want it. So now yeah. I'm overturning more stones. Here's what happens. So when you stop the bleeding of, is what I learned. When you stop the bleeding of the processed food, the simple sugars, all the, the poison, and you replace that with the no, most nutrient-based food that we can consume as human beings, which is animal fat, animal protein, specifically from uh, uh, red meat, whole eggs, okay? And in our food pyramid, we are completely, yeah. com completely lied to. There right. is no... The only superfood there really is, and it's backed by science, it's backed by facts, is uh, organ meats from cattle, which is liver, spleen, kidney, heart. That yeah. If there's a superfood on this planet for me and you, yeah. it's that. Yeah. Right underneath that is the muscle meats, mm -hmm. the, the, the ribeye, the porterhouse, the New York, right? Along with the animal facts. Then I, my... my Opinion after that would be like a sake salmon, right? Yeah. With the fats. Um, so we were told and we were sold that um, fats along with red meat becomes the poison. But what they they left out is when you when you do that with the, the processed food, with the the the, the shitty carbs, right? That's yeah. when you, that's when it turns in to some pretty lethal stuff mm -hmm. and then not a, a, um, a active lifestyle. So that whole American diet, they left yeah. things out, yeah. right? Conveniently because yeah. you just follow the money, right? Processed yeah. food companies and big pharma follow the money. So, um, I'm starting to my first month in. 
my workouts, my sleep, my overall wellness, my mental clarity is just getting better and better and better to the point where my inner circle, people are like, what are you doing? What's going on? And I yeah. go, listen, here's the deal. I just put this 90 day program together for, for me just with stuff that I've researched and what makes sense. And I can tell, and this is, so this is the end of the first month. I said to a few of my, my people back home, I go, all I can say is this is wild. And this is, this is the impact it's made on me. First month in, I said, I feel so good that if I had kids or grandkids, I would do everything I could to get them off this processed food fucking poison. Yeah. That's how, that's the difference. And remember something, they, you're talking about somebody that came from keto. Yeah. It's came from working out his whole life. Yeah. And, and does everything he can to turn that clock back. Mm -hmm. I wasn't ready for what. So now we're going into month two, month three, and it just keeps getting better. And I literally have created a furnace that's building lean muscle and burning fat at the same time. And so much of this bro science that I used to spit, right, has been debunked, right? Yeah. I used to always say when I had my sports nutrition store, right, I'm embarrassed. I'll be honest with you. I'm embarrassed with the things yeah. that I used to share with this bro science um, yeah. back in the day when I had my sports and nutrition store, even when I was a personal trainer, I used to say, well, it's impossible to build lean muscle and burn fat at the same time. No, it's not. I'm walking proof, right? Yeah. right. Um, I would crush my 35-year-old in the gym right now, be 55 in September. Mm -hmm. So um, – that being said, it just it just kept getting better, it, and it and actually keeps getting better. But what I created, even without realizing it to this degree, is an overall lifestyle. So I just went away for 10 days, two weeks ago, Miami, Philly, Jersey. I ate, uh, I never made one meal, I ate out. And um, I didn't leave Miami till I had a Cuban. If people don't know what that is, it's pulled pork. I think it's yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, bacon and Swiss cheese. Yeah. And I didn't leave Philly till I had two Geno's cheesesteaks and I took pictures of them. Right? <laughs> so not once, not only are the cravings crushed, were they crushed, but I never, ever feel hungry. Now, you ready for this? Yeah. No micros, no macros. No weighing food. Yeah. If you don't want to make one meal and you want to eat out the rest of your life, you can. Yeah. And in the last 11 months, I didn't step into a gym, pick up a weight, or do any traditional cardio. Mm -hmm. Fact. Yeah. Fact. So, <laughs> so, and I came back from a 10-day vacation, and I have pictures, leaner than when I left. Yeah. It's mind-boggling so i never i only did 90 days for me as i started to get into my third month i had started to people were asking my inner circle right so i started to help them and share with them what i was doing they're getting the results so now fast forward the clock i'm doing a launch it's called primal power lifestyle and it is an absolute lifestyle um 15 minute full body workout i started sharing them on my war nation page facebook so i do my workouts every morning live yeah, right yeah. and it's recorded so yeah. what this turned out to be nate is the dynamic duo that the nutrition and the blueprint of the the, yep. the whole blueprint which is what i call the ultimate excuse crusher right yeah. so if they decide to lock us down again tomorrow with, with some other bullshit, you never have to miss a beat. Everything is done from your hotel room, your backyard, or your living room. I did mm -hmm. my full, I never missed, oh, uh, so the other part of this is when I now, because I'm starting to put things together, and I, I said, okay, what did I do? What are the foundational pieces that got me here? 
And the first foundational piece, Nate, is putting together your um, non-negotiable, sacred morning routine. So that's what, and I'm looking back in mine and I'm going, okay, here's what I did. Here's what I do. It's non-negotiable. It's sacred. Okay. Now I need to help clients create their own. So right. that's the foundational piece along with the nutrition and along with the, um, um, the workouts. So I'm going to throw it back to you because I know you're chomping at the bit to ask some questions about animal fat, animal protein. Yeah, and uh, whatever you have, throw them at me. And I'm going to give you answers, not on theory, on my own experience. Right, right. Yeah. What's, um, so I assume, you know, as you were developing this and putting this together for yourself, like you said, um, yeah, I imagine you, uh, you know, you tested a few different things to, to get to where you were. Like what did carnivore just come from? Well, did that come from well here's what happened. Year? Once I started to do my research, yeah. it, logically to me, it made sense out of all of them to, to go with it. You tried that right. from the start. And what, I, and what I wasn't ready, here's the other real quick, the other powerful thing about carnivore is the ultimate elimination diet. So what that means yeah. is, and I, I hate using the word diet. It's really the ultimate elimination lifestyle because, you know, diet, right. it's such a, yeah, yeah. a temporary word. But yeah. the ultimate elimination lifestyle, here's what I mean. So people say, when I talk to them, they go, oh my God, I'm going to miss my fruits and vegetables. Okay, so listen, here's, I get it. Here's what we do. Give me one month of pure carnivore, one to two months of pure carnivore. Then... If you want to start adding that in, you're going to know instantly how your body reacts. A mm. real world example. First of the year, January 2021, I decided to add in some salads with my ribeyes and my animal protein and some grilled asparagus and some fruit. Plums, blueberries, things that I love, right? Yeah. Within a week and a half, my cravings start to come back. And I go, wait a minute. The only thing I've done different was add those in. Yeah. I stop it. My cravings are gone. That doesn't mean it's going to happen to everybody. The right. other thing I learned through this is uh, um, vegetables, fruits are living organisms, right? They yeah. actually have a defense mechanism in them. They don't want us to eat them. Yeah. They have a defense mechanism in, in them to where they release toxins. It's, it's backed with scientific studies. So, but it doesn't mean everyone responds in the same way, but right. the only way you're going to know yeah. is eliminate everything except for the most nutrient based food that we have available. And that is red meat, whole eggs and whole butter. Right. So, yeah. So what do you do? Do you, uh, because I have heard, you know, I've listened to a, a number of different podcasts on people talking about carnivore and, um, you know, they, uh, many of them emphasize the importance of like the whole animal, um, you know, meaning like the organs and, and yeah. things like that. So I've not, I've known that's important, but I also know that that's not the most uh, tasty thing in the world to take in either. Oftentimes, so what do you do? Do you, uh, and I know there's supplements available for that too, but so what do you, is that a big piece of your, so I, let me, no. again, let me share my real world experience. Yeah. I tried, I went out and got the beef liver. I chopped it up. I put it in the ground meat. I even put some other things in there, uh, condiments that don't have high sugars to try and hide it. Uh, Nate, after my, the fourth, uh, fourth bowl, <laughs> if the rest went to my dog. Yeah. Right? So yeah. I'm, that's not right. my thing, right? Yeah, yeah. But me neither. If you find a product that they, uh, a supplement that's, capsules and they say that um uh and i can share this with your people but they say that it's um um the process doesn't take the nutrients out and and you're going to get all the all the uh the organs here's my mm -hmm. my real world and i and i've done i'm on my going on my second bottle of this but i'm going to be honest with you i have not felt a difference mm -hmm. with what would it would it help or, or would, uh, let's put it this way. Would it hurt to have the, those 
nutrient most nutrient based foods in in your diet? Absolutely not. Right. I'm just no. Um, for me, I haven't like I feel so good yeah. in every aspect of my life. That yeah. I, yeah. No. That I makes don't sense. think it's. Here's my guess. It's only a guess. Yeah. I don't think it's a game changer. Right. Right. I really don't. But, but if you could do it, oh my god! Like I'm like I'm envious now of people that can eat yeah. liver and kidneys and heart. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. But, right. Um. And the other thing is. There's an there's a back and forth with grass fed, grass finished, right? Uh, yep. whole, listen, if you can keep that in your thing, awesome. Yeah. My experience, it's not been a uh, a game changer, even to the point where I'm on the road a lot. I also yeah. have so I have, own and operate a few other businesses, and one of them out here is a fire restoration business, right? Uh -huh. So I'm literally physically on the road a lot. Yeah. I will stop at Wendy's get a triple with bacon, right? Without yep. the bread, without the condiments, I'll go to in and out get yep. the flying Dutchman, right? Yep. And my thing, and honestly, I have not missed a beat. So yeah. I, I think that, um, I think that if you can do that and your, and your lifestyle is okay, you know, you could do that on a consistent basis. Absolutely. Even if you can get those organ meats in twice a week, Right. If you can get the grass fed, why not? Yeah. But I, I, it's not a game changer. Yeah. So cheese is uh, good for you too. Do you do you so, so dairy, that? right? Dairy. But you want to stay away from the process. So if you can get the like I do heavy cream in my coffee, right? I uh -huh. I tried the black coffee like I did liver and it's not happening. You know, right? like like uh, uh, yeah, it's just not <laughs> happening. It's yeah. I don't enjoy it enough. Yeah. To, yeah. So so I do heavy cream, right? A little yeah. bit of heavy cream. Cheeses, if you can, if you can lean towards like a a, a real cheddar, something yeah. like that, that's not processed like American cheese. Yeah. But again, I've done American cheese, sure, and it's not been a game changer for me. Yeah. Um, but the other cool thing is, and I'm going to tell people this. I tell people all the time, don't take my word for all this. Yeah, yeah. Go on, go on YouTube, and Google or not Google, uh, 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 uh search. Carnivore and results, but here's what's going to be powerful that you're going to find and pay attention. I want people to pay attention to this. The most of the people that you're going to see on these results, um, uh, uh, carnivore, and I found and got my attention was there's no ulterior motive. They're not selling a program. They're not right. selling a product, right? Yeah. right? They're yeah. just sharing their, their real world experience. Um, so that's what I tell people too. Well, you know, and I know I probably first really heard most about carnivore was probably through Joe Rogan's podcast. He's had some number of guests come on. I know he's, he's, uh, he's tried it out for himself and, and, uh, I've always heard that the results he's had from it. I don't know that he's made, I don't think he's made a full on switch to full out, all out carnivore, but he seems to go in phases where he'll go 30 days or 60 days. And, uh, he continues to talk about, the incredible results and i guess everyone that i've heard that have that is uh it is has given carnivore a shot a legitimate shot has has said the same thing i mean the results are always it's it's a bit counterintuitive intuitive for a lot of people i think to think about but you know when they actually give it give it a go and really commit to it for a period of time uh, the re results have always been uh powerful and, and, and let's really talk about when you when you say results, right? We're, that's a very broad statement. Let's yeah, a lot of times these people back it up by like they'll do lab results beforehand, right? And then they'll not only so here's my after. thing, right? But even more than even to me, yeah, just as powerful as the lab results, right? Yeah, because things could change, right? At your hormones, your levels, right? I'm familiar yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah, but here's the real power that you can't dispute and it's over and over and over autoimmune turned around autoimmune turned around in a month two months that means one of the things that joe rogan shared is he has this if you look at his hands he has a skin disorder right similar okay. to michael jackson uh-huh one month really? in yeah one month in it started to clear up 
I have a video I could share with your people. The guy had psoriasis so bad that 80% of his body was psoriasis ridden. He was bedridden. And when he went in the shower, he would cry. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Um, he literally moved his family from the West coast to the Midwest and started a farm to make his own food. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Multiple doctors, multiple meds. Um, nothing worked. You ready? Yep. This is his word. Two yeah. months later, two months on video, yeah. the only outbreak he's had is light rashes behind his knees in two months. But here's what the most here's what the most mind bending thing though is, Nate. <laughs> Nate, it's in the human being is the most mind bending thing, human, whatever on this planet. You ready? Yeah. This is on video. I want to <laughs> jump through the screen and start strangling <laughs> people. Listen to this. That same guy, you know what he said? What? Well, you know, people ask me, how long am I going to stay on this? And I don't know, maybe six months, maybe a year. Wait a minute, what? What? <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> well, think about it. So right. think about Joe Rogan. If yeah. he's actually started to change his skin disorder and you're yeah. going to get on it for a month and then get off. Wait yeah. a minute. Why? But think about this because it comes down to conditioning. This is all starts up here. Not well, I here. think, I think if I, I, uh, when I think about it, I, you know, cause a lot of people uh, I have a client that, you know, he struggles a little bit with alcohol and just the thought of quitting makes him feel like lesser a man. Cause now he's got a, it's like the idea of him not having the power to be able to have a few drinks. Right. And so I think it's kind of the same of like, man, I'm just going to eat meat for the rest of my life, but I, I really like to have some bread every now and then or whatever. So now I'm not going to like, you know, so it's, I don't know. I, in my mind, I equip. Well, I, here's my point to that. There's two different, I, I got perfect response for that. Yeah. Right. And it's going to twist the, there's going to be a lot of panties going to be twisted. Now. Yeah, and, right, and, right. and the reason the panties are twisted is because it's fucking real and they don't have a reply. That's yeah. why their panties get twisted. Here's the deal in life. Life is simple, not always easy, but the simpler you make it, the easier it becomes. You're either a liability or you're an asset in life. Okay. So I work with a lot of women 40 and over in this program. Yeah. Right. And my whole thing is when you don't learn how and why to eat first, you always come in last and your pack right mm -hmm. is not thriving at the level it should be because you're going against nature right so when i talk about women and that's part of the morning routine yeah. you start to learn how to eat first because nature says alpha the leader when they eat first you have a much better chance of your pack surviving for tomorrow mm -hmm. right so <laughs> when you ask yourself think about this the guy that had the psoriasis the guy that has, you know, feels like the alcohol has got him, he's controlled, or the gambling, or the, or the, that vice, is that making you a liability or an asset for your team, for your pack? And you know the answer. Yeah, absolutely. You're a liability, absolutely. right? Yeah, so right. when you are a single mom and you're, and you have issues physically, that you know you could turn around by changing your lifestyle, well, then you're a liability for your family. You're not an asset. Mm -hmm. And in the business world, you're cut real quick if you're a liability, right? Yeah, right. You're, you're cut real quick. Yep. I tell my people that are with me, if, if you're not making my life easier, then what's the point? Yeah. Right? The yeah. people that work, if you, if women, if you're not making my life easier, then where do we go from here? Yeah, right. right. And that's right. a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. You work for a company and you're a liability. How long are you going to be around? Yeah, not very. Right. So you've yeah. got to ask yourself, are you, think about this. The guy that had the psoriasis, when he was bedridden, is he a liability or an asset to his team? Yeah, liability. 100%. Yep. And he found a way to not only do turn this around in record time, but he found yeah. a way to do it naturally, right? right? 
That's right. the, so again, it's wild. I understand it's wild. why it's called conditioning, but yeah. to, to think about in a way like, how long am I going to do this? Well, it's pretty wild. Now, because this is such a powerful lifestyle, you get into, you get start to get past your 90 days. You can literally start to add things in and you're going to know instantly how you feel. One of my clients, Alana, 50 years old, single mom, thriving entrepreneur. She said to me, well, what about, um, what about dairy? I have the issues with my digestive system. I said, Alana, here's what we're going to do. Just pay attention. Follow my lead, do everything I share with you, and pay attention. She goes, what do you mean? Start to pay attention to your digest. I have it on DM. She messages me within like three or four days. She goes, this is unbelievable. I'm waking up le leaner, right? And I think it was two weeks in. She goes, I can take in dairy. What, what is going on? I said, we the reason that you feel leaner is we stopped the, the poison. So now your body isn't fighting to figure out you know, inflammation is yeah, it's just, not inflamed. They're trying to get rid of yeah. poison. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah, they're trying to get rid of poisons. I said, we stopped the poison, we stopped the bleeding. We're filling your body constantly with nutrients, base food, and now um your digestive tract is literally starting to turn around. And she's now her second month in. We're gonna be she's so excited. We're doing a a a, a Zoom tomorrow, a recorded Zoom, because she's gonna share how she's feeling through this whole thing. And this lady was literally her first month is was moving from LA to Texas and the stress she, she goes, this is literally helped me in my stress levels than I never thought possible. So emotionally what this does. Yeah. And when you tie in the right resistance training, that's when you're going to win. That's when you're going to turn this clock back and keep Father Time at bay and take a qual, take your quality of life to another level. Which I didn't. Th I thought, okay, I'm gonna, I should, I should, I should look better, right? Yeah. Doing this 90 day thing. When right. I started this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can look better. Maybe I can get some, some abs, right? Maybe mm -hmm. I can. Dude, overall wellness, unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Energy, unbelievable. Yeah. Focus, unbelievable. Um, Did you have any aches and pains? Uh, oh, man. That you don't any longer or so, anything like that? So here's a great question, dude. I'm glad you asked this. So I always would be um, um, every few months I do a deep tissue, right? And yeah. usually once a month, once every two months, I would uh, go to my chiropractor, sports chiropractor, yeah. get adjusted. Nate had not been to my chiropractor. He probably thinks I just ran away. Yeah. Haven't been to my chiropractor. I have no, don't need a deep tissue massage, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I used to have sciatic. Every nothing, and I'm not the only one. I have people that yeah. same thing, and, yeah. I, and the only thing that makes sense to me is the animal fat because it lubricates everything, right? The animal mm -hmm. protein, it's the combination, roughly 60, 40, right? Yeah. 60 fat, 40 protein. Uh -huh. um, the other beautiful thing about this dude is if you start to feel like you're getting a little sluggish and you haven't changed a whole lot, then we up the animal fat. If you're feeling like you want to lean out even more, we up the animal protein with mm -hmm. the same amount of fat. And yeah. what we, what it's happening is when you combine those two without the poisons, you literally become a furnace. Yeah. 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 yeah it's, it's, and I have before and afters of myself. Yeah. Facial and yeah. then the body. Yeah. It's just, yeah, man, it's just, and then on top of that, to be able to put together an actual lifestyle that's now te tested yeah. on vacation, never feeling, here's the other cool thing about Carnivore. When you do it correctly, you default into intermittent fasting. Yeah. Without yeah. even trying, I've tried intermittent fasting before. Yeah. When I was on keto, I go to bed hungry. I'm waking up thinking about it. Mm -mm. You. Here's the beautiful thing. You eat when you're hungry. You yeah. stop eating when you're full. And then right. all of a sudden, your body defaults. Like if you're a normal, a typical um, 
um, schedule. I go to bed anywhere from nine to 10, wake up between 4.30 and 5.30, right? That's yeah. my schedule. Most people are usually 10 to 11, wake up between six and eight, right? Mm -hmm. If yeah. you have a normal schedule like that, and you're taking in the right animal protein, the right animal fats, all of a sudden, you're going to default into most people, two meals a day. So I now, I don't even know what time it is, but um, for me, it's uh, almost 10 o'clock my time, Pacific Standard Time. I won't, I haven't, last time I ate was seven o'clock last night and I won't eat it. I probably won't be hungry until one or two, yeah. right? I'll yeah. have my gram, I'll have my, my protein, yeah. animal fat, and then I won't be hungry again until right around seven. Here's the other mm -hmm. cool thing. When I, when I went on vacation, right? Yeah. I tried to pay attention to every little thing so I can give some feedback. Well, yeah. one of the things is I had a layover in Dallas, you know, so three hour flight and then another three hour flight. And I had an hour and a half layover. When we got to Dallas, my hour and a half layover went from an hour and a half to eight minutes. So I ran from one terminal <laughs> yeah. to the other. Yeah. I had to get back on the plane. So when I got back onto the East Coast with the time difference, I literally was fasting 24 hours. Yeah, right, right. And my energy was what it is now. Yeah, so yeah. you don't have the insulin spikes. I would have been dragging. I would have had a headache. I would have been, you know, miserable before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's the other thing that happened. And it just defaulted. When I went to the time changes, I went to bed at that time I was at, typically, yeah. 9, 10 o'clock, woke up between 4.30 and 5.30, their time, the yep. very first, when I went yeah. to the East Coast. And then when I came back to Cali, I came back on a Friday night around 6 o'clock, my time, went to bed at 9 or 10, woke up at 4.30, between 4.30 and 5.30, never had a hiccup when it came to the time differences. It's like resetting your internal clock. Yeah, yeah. It's wild, dude. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah I love wild. it. Wild. We, you said you had the uh, Cuban and in, in the cheesesteak. Did you have have it just carnivore style? Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. Yeah. No bread, no. Yeah. Um, and again, for me, I'm really very very limited on any vegetables or fruits because I I eliminated it for all that time. Right. Went yeah. back into it and it didn't work for me. Right. Yep. Doesn't mean it's not going to happen for other people, yep. but you don't. You would never know that unless it. right yeah. unless you tried it one of the things that alana figured out she's a lot like me in the fact that um she goes god as soon as i start to add in the salads i started feeling bloated again i said well your body's telling you that yeah. it's not it's not working for you right. she went right, right back off it and she's right back in yeah. but you don't know that the only way to know that is to do the ultimate and if you and then people are like, well, why don't you do an ultimate elimination on vegan or vegetarian? Well, because they're not the most nutrient-based meals, right? It's a fact. It's an absolute yeah. fact. So I don't believe you're going to be able to, first of all, feel the same way and um, be able to get the same gauge yeah. only because it's, the again, the, and if you're doing keto or paleo, there's only one thing to delete from there anyway, yeah. right? It is the yeah. vegetables and right. the fruits. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty amazing stuff, man. And, and a lot of stuff backed by real MDs like Dr. Ken Berry, Dr. Sean Baker, Sal Baker. Landino, and even, um, you, I, I, I'm going to get him on your show, man. J Dr. John Jackwish, this guy, this guy, dude, crushes the bro science with yeah. real studies yeah. Right? Yeah. right and what's interesting is when i picked up his product um and i learned more and more about him he actually did the same thing i did or i did the same thing he did however you want to describe it but his went way more in depth so mm. when he he invented this uh product uh three years ago he said now i need to put together a nutritional program for my people so they get the best results. And he did the same thing, but much more extensive research. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather a root canal done than 
right. start to read these studies, yeah, right? Too. But thank God I got <laughs> yeah. him. Yeah. But he did the same thing three years ago. He goes, wait a minute, let me look at this, this, and this. And he goes, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. He said, so um, so anyway, all that in a nutshell, I I have the I believe I have the most effective and efficient lifestyle there is. Yeah. And I just I I from what I've experienced, what some other people have experienced, um, especially in your 40s and above. Yeah. Well, I've been watching. I've been seeing you. You know, we follow each other on social media, and I've I've seen seen you uh, uh, more so on on Instagram, kind yeah. of uh, posting your journey. And uh, you know, I was I was watching and, and interested in what you were up to and seeing the results. And then you you happened to reach out to come back on the podcast. So I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. Um, so you know, it's, we talked championship leadership. You know, you started with yourself and led yourself and to figure this out for you and, and uh, you find something that works and you obviously are a championship leader and, and uh, the, the next logical step is to, you know, who can I help uh, with, with what I've found uh, that's worked for me and, and, and to impact other people along the way. So that's what I love about it. Um, and I'm definitely uh, uh, going to give it a, a go myself. I've, you know, it's been something on my mind for a long time to, to at least commit to for a month and see you know, like you say, hey, see what it does for you and, and test it out. And then uh, and then if you want, you can start to add some things back in to see how that goes for each individual person. So I love that. It really is a win win. Right. You can't a, a one month out of your life. Is right. Like a deck chair off the Titanic. Right. It doesn't <laughs> exactly. even count. Yeah, and, if, yeah. and if you're not if you're hearing these results and you're not even willing to do that, then I don't get it. Yeah, well, yeah, you can't be helped at that point. Yeah, yeah, I, I just don't get it, right? Yeah, I, I don't, right. Um, I don't get it. But, um, but I, but I also believe that what you do with it makes a huge difference. Meaning, the correct resistance training for your goals and understanding how to put it all together in an actual plan, yeah. right? To now create that lifestyle. I think right. what, you know, and what you, you talked about, like that really resonates to is, you know, you're either a liability or an asset and we all know the answers to those questions, depending on the choices we make, the food we eat, what we do, how much we sleep, you know, every, across the board, you, you know, the answer, uh, you could try and lie to yourself, but you know, if you lied to yourself or not. And uh, so that's, a, that's a great uh, metric, I think for us all. Uh, it is. And, and the other thing, too, that's so important for people to understand is when you're getting in, when you're in your 40s, 50s, right? Yep. Men and women. So I'm, I'm, I'm back in Jersey. I'm hanging out with my crew and there's five or six of us. And we're all having an awesome dinner. And I'm looking around and I'm going, man, how many here? How many here? Not just this table. But in this whole restaurant, how many here truly understand? And we're saying we're in our 50s, mid 50s, right? So you go your mid 40s to mid 50s. How many here truly understand the thought process of the next three years is going to determine the quality of my life moving forward? Meaning yeah. the decisions you make in your life at this point yeah. will determine the quality of your life. It's going to determine whether or not you're on meds for blood pressure, cholesterol, all that other stuff. It's going to determine your quality of life with your intimate partner. It's going to determine the quality of your life in your business or if you're helping other people build their businesses, right? It's going to determine whether or not you are a true asset or a liability. And yeah. if you're a liability for other people, you better believe you're the ultimate liability for yourself. Yeah, right. And if you have issues, right? Here's the other thing I say, Nate, this is the truth. It's physically or it's um, medically and scientifically proven that simple sugars, carbs are addicting. They're yeah. an addiction. Right. Yeah, it's it's right. proven. And I can share screenshots with people. It's proven. So it's not our fault 
that we're addicted. But it's absolutely our fault if we're not willing to educate and create the resources to find out why that is and how do I change it. So if you're not willing to do that, it is absolutely your fault. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, as we wrap this up, one more short question. What's, a, what's your go-to, like, if you go out to eat or even at home? Is it a ribeye? What is it? Oh, man, it's, it's tough for me to beat the ribeye or New York, right? Yeah. Or even a good burger, right? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. But what's so important for people to understand is let your body regulate for you. So when you mm-hmm. eat to your full and don't eat again to your hungry, yeah. you're good. Yeah. That's how simple yeah, yeah, I love it. Well, what uh, what are a few ways that you know if people wanted to find out more about this lifestyle that you've created and how to follow your journey? What? Yeah, we do that. And I'll shoot over some links to you for yeah. you too. Um, Great. And then you're gonna, you know, as always, if you send me the recording, we'll chop this up in a clip yeah, as well. Um, yeah. But so uh, Dave Daly, D A L E Y M M, like Monster Motivator, at Dave Daly M M, Instagram, Facebook, and then we just launched a uh, Roar Nation. Um, and I'll send you a link. So it's a Facebook group and I actually do my, um, uh, my live workouts every morning, just did my second one this morning. So every morning between six, right around six fifteen AM, my time Pacific standard time, we, I go live Q and a after the workout, but I do my full body workout 15 minutes, but, and then we'll also record it on our, uh, on our platform, on the Facebook group, Roar Nation. And the goal is to create enough momentum to go back on our own platform. Awesome. Awesome. Love yeah, it. Yeah, man. man. Well, I appreciate you being here and uh, taking some time to share your journey. Uh, yeah, man. I appreciate really. the time. Absolutely. Have a great day. Awesome. Thanks, brother.